If a woman didn't say thank you after you paid both meals, on a first or second date, would you continue to see her again why or why not? That fact that a couple of people in here are trying to defend a woman not using basic manners is insane. If she cannot appreciate the gesture, she is not worth it again. No, because she is rude and unappreciative. No, smells like ungratefulness. She didn't even say thanks for a great night. I've been on a whole lot of dates, and I don't think a single one of them has ever not said. I know it's Askman, but as a woman I wouldn't continue to see her because she lacks basic manners. This happened to me when I was on a date with a man a few months ago. I bought us ice cream, and he never thanked me, and it was a major turn off. Nah sounds like a bitch. My wife still thanks me if I pick up the check. No, seems like a bad idea to set that precedent up front. I wouldn't contact her after the first he don't need another sponsor child. Child. <laughs> Calling someone a primate isn't really an insult. It's just stating a fact. By the same reasoning, there is no insult in calling someone an animal. Only an ape would type that. You know, after a few years of evolution, you are ugly both an insult and stating a fact. They're not mutually exclusive. I casually made reference to us being animals in front of my religious grandmother. Some people both refute the fact and take offense to it. Go do this in Compton and report back your findings. There's a lot of historical context around why being called a primate may be more insulting to some people than to others. It doesn't work like that. Insults need context and intent. If I intend to offend you and the context says calling someone a primate is an insult, i.e. trying to insult a black person, then yeah, it's definitely and I can call you a salted slug with the intent of insulting your logical process. There is someone out there who holds the title of richest homeless person. I'm sure there's a millionaire who's homeless. It's me, I make work a year being homeless. It's pretty amazing. I currently have 3.8 million buried in the ground. Wouldn't that be Elon Musk? He claims he owns no home. Reminds of, of that clip where Ivanka said Trump pointed. Howard Hughes probably went through times of living on the streets toward the end of his life. I can't remember which one, but that technically goes to one of the founders of a car manufacturer. Manufactured the car, is known as the founder of the car, but later on was booted from his seat as so, and became homeless. Especially when the estate is ran like a business. And home at least reckless person. I once saw a homeless guy with like five shopping carts all linked together. I realized that he was probably the richest unhoused person in all the land. People under the age of 40 gained most of their knowledge from the Internet no matter how educated, uneducated they are. I'm fairly sure this isn't true for me, and I'm under 30. Why should it be true? Change it to 30, and I may agree. Did I? I think a huge chunk still comes from weird books and television shows, though it may be true. Around 50 of the people in the world can't read. Billions don't have stable affordable internet access. How do you figure this? Wouldn't that be information and not knowledge? Knowledge is a very different thing, especially if the information comes from the top Google hit that is an abstract of the site itself that possibly isn't even visited. Yeah, and since at least 50 of what's online is fake, that's a pretty scary thought. Sure, if you gained most of your knowledge from the Internet, you might believe the Earth is flat or reptiles run the world. What life-changing item can you buy for less than $100? Condoms. Crystal meth. Bite it. Here is my list. Each one of them is less than $100. 0.1. Electric toothbrush. 2. Water flosser. 3. Tongue scraper. 4. Shower head filter. 5. Silk pillowcase. 6. Double edge razor. 7. Hair conditioner. 8. Comfortable shoes. 9. Comfortable pillow. A very good sleeping pillow. Slow cooker. A bite it. Meth. 
It is not a positive change, but that was not specified and is a change. Poop stool. Use it long enough and it pays for itself with the reduction of toilet paper use. Use the poop stool three times and you never want to go back. Psilocybin. Una. A vibrator. Wormery. It's a box with compost worms. They eat your organic garbage and turn it into wonderful soil. Is seeing escorts once a week considered an addiction? Why or why not? Do you feel an irrational urge to keep doing it? Do you do this even though it's damaging to your health, relationships, or you do this impulsively, or the answer to any of the above is yes, then yes, that would be an addiction. I think this is like alcohol, or anything else you're using it isn't a problem, until it's a problem. Michael Jordan said his gambling wasn't a problem because he can afford it. How's your finances looking? He don't think I could enjoy it if it was paid for, but if you got the money and enjoy it, I don't see a problem. If you can't afford it or barely afford it and can't stop or think you should stop but keep doing it, I won't mess around with the dark arts like that. Boogie, is that you? What's unhealthy is spending that amount of time with people who are paying attention to you for money. It's highly corrupting. That's a subscription. I bet it's cheaper than dating. Dating. <laughs> Married men of Reddit, what's something you've been wanting to say to your wife but can't? You were bad at walking in a straight line. We were both on the sidewalk, now I'm on the grass. Why is that? Close the fucking kitchen cabinets. After you open them, holy fuck, it's been 12 years. Oh, we talk and communicate all the time. Sort of a weird desire, but it's tempered in reality. It would be really cool if my wife could hear my voice. She's never heard it. She's been 100 deaf since age six. She remembers her family's voices, but of course, meeting new people, she wouldn't be able to. Honey, please stop reading all my Reddit comments. I have 20.1. Answer the question I ask you, not your interpretation of the question, or why you think I'm asking it. When you're wrong, say you're sorry. It means more than you know. No. Most of us will never actually get to find out if money does or doesn't make you happy. Doesn't make you happy, but makes life less stressful if you have it. I can confirm that a lack of money makes you unhappy. It man payday makes me happy. It would definitely make most unhappy people happy. Money might be able to take away sadness, but what it replaces it with is not happiness. Pleasure you can buy for the right price, but you will never find joy in a dollar. Joy comes from the heart and nowhere else. Seeing people who are better off than me suggests money help heaps with happiness. This is not to say money is happiness, but something that influences it strongly up to a certain point. Money does indeed make you happy. Not in all areas of life, but in that one area it does. And it's a big one. I had five bucks today and got a drink and some and miss I was pretty happy. It's all perspective. Being able to do anything I want or buy anything I want would make me very happy. Men of Reddit, what is your take on modern dating? The impression I've got from young people today is a lot of them simply have no idea how to date someone. Narcissistic, superficial, self-absorbed social media addicts looking for the same. I met my wife in uni when we were 18, got married at 25, had our daughter, she died at Yim 34 now. Yeah, I don't see myself dating ever again. At 35 and still single, I'm leaning more towards hookers and blow. If my current relationship fails, I'm done. Online dating has ruined dating, so I tend not to bother. But to be act like a dancing monkey for a woman trying to impress her when she has another 100 trying the same thing. It sucks for everyone. My take is that it sucks, but also that it's always sucked. The difference is that now instead of hearing how much it sucks from your limited circle of friends who aren't in a relationship. What's the worst drug ever? Fentanyl. Don't do it. 
fentanyl and by the homeless community into zombies for hours. User who's been clean since 2006, 2007, I'm 34 now, and in a happy place. Wasn't there some nightmare drug called crocodile that melts your flesh? Crocodile, it was like heroin, but with gasoline in it really only found in Russia. It caused your skin to turn green and then rot off. I don't think it's around anymore because fentanyl is cheaper, and it was just a drug for people too poor for heroin. Crocodile, or that angel's trumpet, or whatever. Turning people in mindless zombies. Crocodile and xylazin combined with heroin are both fairly screwed up. Alcohol. Ruins health, families, lives. It's legal, and if you don't drink it, people act like there's something wrong with you. Detura. Garfield hates Mondays because John works. Tell me you forgot that John is a cartoonist who works from home. John is canonically a cartoonist who works from home. So Garfield would see very little difference between Monday and Sunday or any other day of the it's more likely that John is around less on the weekend. Even though he's a huge antisocial, Garfield hates Mondays because he represents what we are all thinking. John is a cartoonist who works from home. I call dibs on reposting this next week. My guy Garfield was sitting in the middle of an empty field so nothing could hurt him on Monday and a motherfucking piano fell on him from the man the dude is literally just cursed. It's because Arlene only puts out at the weekend. This is posted here all the time. Garfield hates Mondays because President James A. Garfield was shot on a Monday. The ensuing medical malpractice resulted in his death. death. Cattle population is estimated to be around one billion. We might not be the dominant species in absolute weight. Are ants not the greatest biomass overall on Earth? Correct me if I am wrong. We know we aren't. We have estimations of biomass. Cattle are 520 megatonis and humans are 350. Ecology? We are if we count your mum. Were we ever the dominant species by weight? We are not even close. Bro, have you seen the Midwest? Av cow is nine times heavier than the av human. There are over one billion cows and 8.1 billion humans, so cows are winning by a little. Costo is working to remedy this situation. Your mom more than shifts the balance in our favor. Insects outmiss most forms of life on this planet. I believe, but maybe mistaken ants and beetles win out the category.